and this is where a lot of people go wrong, especially males. Males who are listening to this, and I'm black, so I will speak specifically to black males, but this applies to all the rest of you as well, white, Latin, Asian, and everything else, <clears throat> because males have testosterone. Women have testosterone too, but males have dominant, the dominant, uh, testosterone is dominant in you in driving your actions. Males with our testosterone, we tend to not under, we tend to not have a good estimation of power dynamics, especially when our ego gets involved. The more your, the more the male ego is involved, the more our testosterone kicks in and the more we try to assert our dominance in a situation when it does not make sense to assert our dominance. It actually is detrimental to the situation. That's what I'm going to explain as I get further into my point. So hold that thought in your mind. And let's get into it. Point number one. Now address all comments at the end. I see I got a good amount, but I'm addressing them all at the end. Number one, you must understand situational power. Uh, do y'all know what situational power means? Situational power means, I'll give you a couple examples. If you are in the ocean swimming, and you ever been swimming before, you've been to the beach before. If you're in the ocean swimming and a shark grabs you from underneath you while you're in the ocean swimming, who has the situational power, you or the shark? The shark does, because in the water, the shark is dominant. The shark has more power, is more dexterous, and could probably fuck you up a lot more than you could fuck the shark up if you're in the ocean. Now, if you are fishing and you pull a shark out of the water into your boat, who has the situational power? You do, because out of the water, the shark ain't so dominant. Y'all understand what I mean? So y'all understand this metaphor when I say situational power? So in a traffic stop, ladies and gentlemen, who has the power? You or the cop? And no, it is not equal. If you're driving and the cop pulls you over, who has the power? You or the cop? And as soon as you offer any form of resistance to that cop, you know what the cop does? They get on their walkie-talkie and they call for backup. So now instead of dealing with one cop, you're dealing with five cops. Who has the power? You or the cop? When you get pulled over by a police officer, the power is all in the hands of the officer or officers, plural. I'm not asking you if you believe this is right or wrong. I'm not asking if you think it's good or bad. I'm not asking you what your feelings are about it. I'm asking who has the power. Let's remember where we are, folks. Results-based business. Who has the power? You or the cop? And there is a, this is a binary question. It's either A or B. The cop has the power. When you get pulled over, the cop has the power. Okay? Any legal situation involving a cop, the cop has the power. It's situational power. They don't have power over your whole life. They have situational power in that moment because they have a right to stop you and pull you over. Even if they're wrong, they have a right to do it. And you will be smart to comply. And if you don't comply, all they're going to do is they're going to keep escalating what they can do and keep using whatever power they have. And you have less and less the more of them show up. 